Welcome back to the Intern Hustles three-part series on internship goals. In this video, I am sharing some examples of goals that you can set during your internship to help you get the most out of your experience while you're there. If you missed the last video, I will link it up here and in the description below, but go check it out to learn about goals that you can set that will help you land the internship. All right, internship goals part two, here we go. Hey there, I'm Jenna Ryan from the internhustle.com and this is Initiative Muscle Monday, helping you to start each week with an intentional step toward a successful future. Let's do this. Before we dive into the example goals in this video, a quick reminder about how to set your goals up for success. Make your goals measurable. You wanna quantify them and give them a target completion date. Write down your goals. This is to bring more awareness to them and make them easier to revisit along the way and share your goals with people that you trust for accountability. So everyone gets off track sometimes, and that's okay, but getting an accountability partner or two to keep you going, that's the key here. Okay, so here's the thing. No one internship is like the other. Some companies have very clear expectations for their interns and they will have specific projects set aside for you to work on. Other companies have no clue what to do with you and exactly how you can contribute to their company. No matter what situation you find yourself in at your internship, it is your job to be personally responsible and work to maximize your experience and the value that you're getting from that internship. So I suggest you sit down with your supervisor at the beginning of your internship and just map out what success looks like as an intern at their company. You should bring some ideas to the table and also take note of what they have to say but your job is to make sure that clear goals are set and agreed upon. Now, if your company doesn't have structured projects and goals for you, here are some examples of goals that you can set for your internship. Now, I've said this before, but it's worth saying again and again and again, relationships are everything. One of the best things that you can do while at your internship is make connections with a lot of people. Start to grow your professional network in a meaningful way. Help people out across departments and just be a pleasure to work with. A goal that you could set to ensure that you're connecting with people could be go to lunch with 10 different colleagues over the course of your internship. The goal is measurable because say you have an eight week internship, so lunch with 10 people means that you have a goal to connect with at least one new person a week for lunch and you're throwing in a couple more for good measure. So you have 10 total. Make sure that you're giving yourself specifics to this type of goal as well. For example, who counts towards your 10 people? If I were in your shoes, I would aim to have lunch with people of authority within the company who I can learn from and have the potential to expand my network on an even greater scale. Getting to know the other interns is great, but I wouldn't count them as one of the 10 people that you connect with for purposes of this goal. Another type of goal that you can set while at your internship is skill development. So maybe a personal goal of yours is to develop your speaking skills. An example goal for you could be present project XYZ updates at each monthly all hands meeting. Let's say that you are assigned a project as an intern. We're gonna call it Project XYZ here. And most companies have regular company-wide meetings called an all hands or a town hall. So these meetings are used to share news and provide status updates at a high level across the entire company. This is a great opportunity for you to get up and deliver an update in front of a group of people and practice your public speaking skills. You can quantify this goal by aiming to speak at a specific number of these meetings over the course of your internship. And then there are the types of goals that help you leave a lasting legacy. A tangible contribution from your internship that you can reference in future internship or job interviews. An example of a goal in this category could be contribute to company blog by writing six content posts. Most companies have a blog of some sort on their website these days, and they're often looking for more people to contribute quality content to it. So by contributing this content, you're learning through the process because you're having to research and craft your posts, pulling them all together, but you're also leaving your mark on the company website. This is something that you can link out to on your LinkedIn profile. You can share it during interviews and you can honestly just reflect back and be proud of it. You produced content and it's out there in the world. How cool is that? So there you go, a few different examples of goals that you can set at your internship to help ensure that it's a successful experience. Remember, you have to take the initiative to set the goals and connect with your supervisor. 
Don't just leave your experience up to chance. Take control of your future one intentional goal at a time. If you haven't already, don't forget to watch part one of this series. I will link to it below. And I will be back next week with part three of three on how to set goals to help maximize your internship experience once it's all over. If this video was helpful for you, I would appreciate your show of support. Please give it a like and share it with a friend or two. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you're always in the loop as new videos are released. Thanks, and I'll see you back here next Monday.